At Rock Spring, we buy exclusively in the Texas market. Texas is the 10th largest economy in the world and is the fastest growing state in the nation. That growth is accelerating now. People are flooding into Texas, both individuals and businesses from all over the country and from all over the world. Most other firms will rely on outside brokers to show them opportunities. We have a team of brokers, many of have been with us for well over 15 years. They are a dedicated team to Rock Spring, and these guys find off-market situations where we buy typically 25-35% below appraisal, and then we create more value by putting in the infrastructure on the sites and then sell off in pieces to end users and developers. We're buying sites that are under the radar screen of the institutional investor. We're able to close lightning fast because we have cash in hand to close quickly. That's how we get an exceptional return consistently to our investors. Rock Springs investment strategy has evolved around investing in the Texas Triangle, which is Houston, San Antonio and Austin. We have members on the team that were developers in each of the, the respective industries, so retail, residential, industrial. We know what the pricing is going to be on the property. It becomes a function of how well we can make money on the buy for our investors. We specialize in buying off-market opportunities that are undervalued because they're not being used for the highest and best use. So we get them prepared through entitlement process. We sell them to either horizontal developers that will put in the street and other infrastructure, or we sell them to people that will put the buildings on the property and we'll undertake the horizontal development process ourselves. As we're buying properties, we're analyzing two things. One, are we making money on the buy? And two, how can we add value and make additional money as we sell the asset? Once the property is under contract, it undergoes an institutional grade due diligence process where we're looking at every impediment to developing the asset while at the same time building a financial model. From there, a report is compiled and submitted to our investment committee, and it takes a unanimous vote to approve an acquisition. We typically utilize a low risk strategy in the acquisition. We use all cash. We could buy a property at a 20% discount to market. By using equity in that case, we're getting an immediate 20% addition to their capital just on the buy. As we're acquiring the asset, we are developing the end use for the property, whether it's going to be horizontally developed, in some cases vertically developed, and in those cases, we use a small amount of debt. One of the things our investors can expect from us that's different from, say, an investment in the stock market is detailed reporting. At least on a quarterly basis, they'll be able to hear from one of our executive management team, letting them know what's going on with the fund, what's going on with the company, any new purchases or sales that we've made, you can expect to get your K-1s on time, the account statements on a quarterly basis. We never want to leave an investor wondering what kind of investment he made or what kind of people he made it with. My accounting team has been together for a number of years now, so long that they know most of our investors on a first name basis. They can ask us any questions about their accounts. They even needed specialized reporting, we could provide that to them too. A lot of the work that we're willing to do, most of our competitors won't and we're able to find opportunities that other people don't even know exist. Since our first fund, we bought and sold well over 100 properties. 85% of those properties we've sold at a minimum of a 1.4 cash multiple. So we've had a very long string of success at Rock Spring.